wants to know what's the best blitz from the dollar formation. He says when he uses um, the spinner play, he gets beat in the run game too much. Is there a blitz that you like sure. from dollar? Yeah, I'll. Ju I mean, it's not necessarily like a. It's really kind of like any play, but uh, let me go to dollar here for you. We'll go here, dollar. Actually, can I change it from dollar to one four six? Or we'll start with dollar and then we'll, we'll yeah, move. We'll yeah, progress. we can see and then you can go to 146. I know uh, he's maybe in the Browns playbook too like we are. So I think the concept's going to be very similar. The difference between the dollar and the big dime are you have ends at D end in dollar. Yep. And you have linebackers at end in the 146. But otherwise, and so safety, but it's close. This is, this is more going off of, this is a tip that... I first saw the meta of the way people were playing in the single elimination round, uh, watching so many games this past weekend. I watched way too many games, but it was awesome. A lot of people were running uh, a variety of a defense that was either one four six dollar, uh, and the setup that I was seeing is they would they would move the linebacker over here with a line shift, and then they were blitzing him directly over the D tackle here, and then they would use her Jamie Collins. God, that's depressing. Uh, and they would use her him here. And this was like a run support defense, right? Because he would come in untouched, or he would eat up a guy, and then he, it would be a clear running lane for mm -hmm. your user. And then off of that, they would man up the opposite routes, so the slot corners. They'd man them up here because if you run drags, they're in position to play defend. If you run a post, they're going to then be in position to make a play. So that was the first off what I saw. So then I started getting in the lab, and I just started tinkering, like, well, can I make this better? Uh, so what I found was this. If you were to go ahead and do the same thing, move the linebacker here, right, and he's blitzing, uh, the next thing you would do is if I, if I just blitz this guy off the edge here, in this instance, what I found, and I did this specifically from Big Dime 146, but I found that this was a great way for me to get pressure off the edge from the 146. So snap the ball, let's see if it kind of works from dollar. Didn't work from dollar, but the A gap came in because you're still sending the appropriate number of defenders. It just actually came in from the A gap from, from dollar. So let's move it again. So you gotta make sure he gets to that gap. Yep, gets to that gap. And then like I would say man up quick here and then user Collins here. Uh, maybe a little more depth on the, the slot corner and, and maybe that'll help. But yeah, see how he's yeah. coming off the edge and then I would then user somebody yeah. else. So. I'm seeing that that could be a universal way to do this, right? So I could go like this, right? I could go here, two man, right? Let's 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 mess with two man, right? Right? Let's with two man, this could be good, right? So now I'm in two man, right? And let's just do a QB contain. Go ahead, snap the ball, two man. Didn't work, but like it's going to work. In that case, it didn't. It like you're still blitzing the same number of people. You're still having the same number of people go out to the quarterback. It might have been the nose tackle. Let me see. So if I look at here, he's going left. So he, it was, so I, I would have to go like that because I need the nose tackle to go left, right? So that might, that would be my question. Maybe move him back. Your LB went back, right? So just go here. Yeah. Okay. What? So know, that's I, my I thought, yes. And, yeah. and he's gonna, he he's trying to come up. Yeah. So like, this is universal and you could do it off either edge. You can get pressure. You could do pressure left. You could do pressure right, and that, that's you know that I think it's working. I think it'll work pretty well for you as a, a, a base. It's it's any play, so you have to kind of be a justy with your with what you're going to be doing with the defensive stick, but it gives you a lot of flexibility. Like you can go ahead and run, you know, if you want, go crazy, right? Like blitz off this edge and blitz him here, man him up on this side, over the top coverage, get him over here, go ahead, snap of the ball, like. Okay, now I'm sending pressure off the opposite edge. And like, so there's a lot you can do with it. So regarding the left slot, just a quick question from the chat. I mean, you have a deep zone there. What routes are you concerned about if you don't, if you unmanned him up? If you I unmanned I mean? him up? Yeah, like if you were gonna send pressure off the left side, like would you use her that left slot if a slant came? Like how would you, like if you were gonna blitz the left slot here? Oh, like, okay, like that? Yeah, so like, what I would do is- Are you nervous I, now I, or? I would do this, I would probably go, I probably would, I'd probably put him, let me think about this. How would I defend this? I definitely wouldn't want to man him up, so I would probably go, I'd probably do something like that. 
if I was gonna if I was gonna play man. Yeah. Because then if the halfback goes anywhere but the right, I can cover him, and, right. and I want to make sure I can defend halfback, and I, like I, I want to be able to cheat on other routes. Right. So what I would probably do is this: I'd probably like go like this, make them think I'm using him, and then right. I would just click on and not move. Gotcha. And then sit there, and then and then go like it's something like that. That's some type of variety. I like. I, it. I wouldn't call that cover two the cover two man one very often. Like it's here's the other thing you could do real quick. Sorry. So here's the other thing you could do. So you could go cover two man, right? If you wanted to get nifty, like go ahead and do this, right? Like if you don't want to unman anybody, right? Just do that. Bring the safety down. Go ahead. Snap of the ball. Like there's that's definitely a reality too. Like okay. you can do that. I like it. Good tip right there. We're gonna jump into the next mailbag question here on this week in Madden show. Two eleven. But before we do that, I just want to implore you guys that the vote is close. We are almost there. Z Farrells just needs a little bit more of your support to be elected the man of the people. So please click on the link. YouTube, I know you're watching right now. You're just like, man, Farrells, I wish I could get out there and vote for you. But that's why you got to watch live. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your votes. I appreciate you going to the polls. Let's get into the next question. No, before right now, before he gets into the next question, if you get if you get thirty seconds, I get thirty seconds. Don't forget, gentlemen, I have been on these streets with you. I have been in the lab with you. I've been grinding with you, finding those plays, finding the blitzes, finding the counters to the blitzes, finding ways to stop some of these offensive plays, and giving you some of the best schemes for over a decade right here on this channel. And uh, I'm just kind of happy to be here with you. I would appreciate your vote in the man of the people election this year 2016 don't forget s gibbs vote s gibbs because for the next generation he'll save your kids <laughs> you like that right i don't even know if that makes any sense s gibbs kids like it kind of rhymes shout out to d jones for stopping by the chat jones we did go over the group we had nice things to say about you though so don't worry is that uh, is that d jones i think so that's dj jones DJ. Maybe it's not DJ. That's Jones. DJ Jones. I think that's DJ Jones. I don't know. All right. Here's the other thing: is like Shearer just dropped a great. I mean, he voted for Gibbs, so I'll give him a. I'll give him credit in either way. But he uh, he put a setup in the Ooh. chat from the Eagle play, like in the middle of the show, and like if you're not watching now, like you didn't see it and you weren't la like labbing, so you missed it, you know what I mean? How, a shout out to 4 man 30 he said he used to be a YouTube fan, stream is so much better. Yeah, I mean they're both good, but you know, we love we love to have you live. All right, 